what I've learned from creating a video every single day on YouTube. Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths and I've been creating a video every single day for YouTube for the last 30 days and I wanted to really test out how it was going to impact my YouTube channel and my business because creating that much content is quite exhausting and draining and it's not normally what I do. I normally do one video a week. So I've been consistently but slowly growing my channel and I wanted to see is this gonna really explode my growth? Is this going to change the YouTube algorithm so I start getting more subscribers or more views? And is this gonna really knock things out of the park? Is it gonna make a massive difference to just the way that I show up and be visible? So let me rewind a little bit. Um, Pre-pandemic, I was creating two videos a week and I was you know, really showing up and YouTube was a massive part of my marketing strategy and my growth. And I was getting um, good levels of subscribers every single month and really good views and my channel was really growing. And then during the pandemic, I had lots of joint ventures that my mind was kind of, I was focused on those. I was also trying to homeschool my son. And so YouTube, got put on pause and there were big swathes of time where I wasn't creating videos on YouTube, but I was still getting really good views considering I wasn't actually creating any content. And the reason I was, was just more people were at home, so they were watching more YouTube videos. And in that time when everyone else was creating loads of content, I saw people massively, stratospherically explode on YouTube and I, if I have one regret, it was definitely that I wish I had too been creating content at that point. Now, fast forward again to sort of last year, I'm going through a messy divorce. And again, I stop creating content on YouTube. And so I've been a bit stop start. And now in 2023, I really wanted to shake things up. I wanted to make things different and, you know, just try and really put some rocket fuel into my YouTube channel. I'm still getting growth, but I wanted to really accelerate that growth and see where it could go. I'm at the point where I'm about eight and a half thousand subscribers and I would love to get to 10,000. I'd love to get to 50,000 subscribers. And so I feel like, okay, I've got to do something different. You can't keep, if you want to change things up, you can't keep doing what you've been doing. You have to make drastic leaps of change. And I have invested so much time and energy into YouTube. I just feel like, right, come on, let's go for it. And I've had this kind of nagging kind of feeling sentiment in my head for a long time. I love to meditate every day and every morning I will do, um, I'll do a meditation. It's kind of like I will, it's a meditation where I tap into spiritual guidance and this kind of inner voice. And then I'll write notes from this and it's almost as when I'm writing the notes, it's not, I'm obviously writing them, but it's not my thoughts. I'm not saying I must do this. It's more this like inner voice saying you do this or do this. And some of it sometimes is, doesn't make sense. And I'm like, what? But a lot of the time when I've been talking about my business or what do I do, there's been so much about doing YouTube, like focus on YouTube, do YouTube. And I've just been a bit like, I'm too busy or, you know, I've just had other stuff going on. And by, because I was going through a divorce and being a single parent, I'm, you know, a very hands-on parent to my son, he's autistic. So I only work about four hours a day. So I really had this kind of like, do I have time? Do I wanna take this commitment on? I was very wary of taking on extra marketing commitments and making things more complex. And so I did this amazing kind of meditation session and I really got this strong, like do YouTube every day for a month and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. And so here I am a month later and I've really gone for it. And so that is the thing, when you go for it with something, things shift, things change, and it, it's amazing what the world opens up for you. So if you are feeling like, 
what do I do? Like big concerted effort, like giant leaps forward. Like yes, baby steps of consistency every day, but sometimes we need to take massive action. Sometimes we need to make difficult decisions. An easy life comes from difficult decisions. An easy life doesn't come from making easy decisions all of the time. Because sometimes when, you know, we're just doing the e what's easy, we have a really hard life. When we do things that are like big leaps forward, that's when actually on the other side of that big leap forward of going, of stepping into discomfort, of making ourselves uncomfortable, we have that big leap forward. And so for me, I really wanted to put myself out there. I had, I love video. I, you know, worked in television for 20 years. I have a course called Confident on Camera that's sold over 50,000 courses. So I've built my business on video, but I'd stopped creating video. I got to the point where I'd like basically had a year of barely creating video. And it was like, what are you doing, Lucy? Come on. And so I had to really be like, give myself a bit of a talking to and be like, come on, let's get back in the video game. Let's do this. And so actually when you show up with consistency and you go for it, then everything else opens up for you. And so that was a massive learning for me of just getting myself back in the video game, getting used to doing video content again and showing up with consistency. And I've actually really enjoyed that. And on a, as a byproduct from that, I've also been creating videos every day to share with my audience about the YouTube video. And so again, I've been sharing more content, which I'll share about in a separate video. You know, obviously I lost subscribers along the way, but what's really happened is I've actually also had more conversions. More people have been buying into me, like wanting to do work with me one-to-one, -one, wanting to join my membership or my group programs because they really have got to know me and like, oh, actually I can learn from her and I quite like her and she's fun. And so that's the thing that actually, by creating that video content, people get to know you more personally. They get to know you rather than just um, being like, you know, it's much more it's like two dimensional, just seeing you in a social media post or something. And they're still gonna get to know you and like you, but on video, it's much more, you know, they're more receptive to you. The brain cannot tell the difference between you on screen and you in real life. We form the same connections. Our brain is like exhausted by watching those videos because you know when you're on a Zoom call and you find it draining because the, the non-verbal cues that you're seeing, they're not as kind of, they're more removed from you. So you don't read them in the same way. So it's more exhausting like understanding the body language, but we still form those same connections. We feel like we know someone. So that's why we feel like we know Rachel from Friends or we have these intimate connections with somebody that we see on a YouTube channel or a, a TikTok video. And we like think, oh, I know that person. And when we bump into them at some event or we see a famous celebrity, we feel like we know them. And um, of course we don't know them. I mean, you know, soap actress must, must feel like, oh my God, it's so weird because people come up to them and constantly must talk to them as though they are in character. And when you're in the business world, you have a small inkling of that because people get to know you from being in the online world. They get to know you from seeing your videos and fall in love with you. They get to know you, trust you, like you. And so it's really, really important to build that video content. But sometimes, whatever it may be, the pandemic or divorce or some big life situation going on, that you get out the habit of it. Or maybe you never got into the habit of it and you find it intimidating and nerve wracking. And if you are like that, um, then I have a course, it's only $19, but it, I promise you it will really help you with getting over your fears of being on camera. So check out that link below. But if you're in the situation where perhaps like me, you've just lost your video mojo, or you've just not been kind of as consistent as you want to be, and you want to get more in the flow of it, then, you know, I, I just say to you, just start, just get going. Because um, actually, 
the more you do it, the more you show up, the easier it gets. And so it flows from that. There's a synchronicity that flows from that. And so if you just say to yourself, you know what, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to do it. And actually YouTube is it's not like, say, TikTok. The algorithm on TikTok is amazing right now, and you can absolutely blow up on TikTok. But you might feel like, I don't, I don't feel a connection with TikTok for me personally. And I tried it, and I was like, I don't really like this. And so I, I love YouTube, I, and I really, I, I, I want to be consistent on YouTube. And so it's like, right, how am I going to grow on YouTube? How am I going to have the exponential growth on YouTube? And I'm not saying that this is the solution for everyone because actually I, I normally say don't do this, like create a video or two a week and just be consistent with that and it's better to be consistent with that. But I just wanted to create that really, I just wanted to do something different. I wanted to create that massive leap forward and change the dynamic, change the situation. And that's where, um, you know, having that leap of going for it and going for it on YouTube with consistency was really, really, like, just, I wanted to do something different. And so when you make drastic changes and you do something different, the world opens up. Like, those possibilities, well, the world will shift for you. And so if you are wanting, this isn't just about YouTube videos, but if you want to make drastic changes in your life, in your business, then sometimes we need to have that big shift. I remember for me personally, like in 2011, I stopped drinking, but at the same time, I was seeing, I was living in China and I was, um, I was finding myself just like, I was drinking, you know, partying a lot, but the booze was fake. So it was fake booze. And I, I just found it was like, oh my goodness. Um, it was too much for me. And so I, you know, I have these raging hangovers. And so I was like, right, you know what? I'm going to cut this out. And I saw my acupuncturist and my acupuncturist was like, oh, actually, I think you should cut out booze, but also cut out wheat and dairy. And so it was wheat, dairy, alcohol. I had terrible period pain. So it was wheat, dairy, alcohol, red meat and sugar. And to this day, except for the sugar, which I do still eat sweets and candy and all that stuff because I love it. But um I cut out all of those things and I still stick to that. And I feel so much better. But that was a drastic change for me. It was huge because my life completely shifted in that moment. I, you know, my partying stopped. I stopped going out. And then I was really able to figure, what do you want to do? So I actually quit my job. And that's when I really started thinking and mulling over like how do I build an online business how do I do what I want to do and so it took me a while to find my feet but that was the pivotal moment and so that was a drastic change in my life that brought about everything else and so sometimes you need to have that drastic shift of something to bring about those big big changes and so maybe for you it is doing a YouTube video a day because maybe it opens doors of new possibilities. Maybe it's, and you might blow up on YouTube. Like I have seen people where, you know, I remember um, Vanessa Lau and we were kind of started our channels at the same time. I'm like a baby channel and she's like, you know, millions of views and, and hundreds of thousands of sus subscribers. In the same way, you know, that might be possible for you that you suddenly have this exponential growth because you make this one big leap of doing something and going for it, whether it's blogging or YouTubing or whatever it may be, but you go for it in a big concerted way. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna love you and leave you. If you like this video, and you would like to subscribe, I'd love to see you here. Um, I am going to carry on doing a YouTube video a day. I'm not sure I'm going to carry on doing it forever, but for right now, it feels good and I want to carry on. So if you like my videos, please subscribe and I would love to see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye bye.